Elementary, Dr. G here on Hawk TV, wishing you all a very happy Monday. Woo! It's Monday. It's a fun day. At this time, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, please remain standing for a brief moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Dun, dun, dun. Today is Monday. It's November 8th. It's day three. Day three. I hope everybody had a fantastic weekend. I hope you had a chance to maybe try out your new library card or read a good book. It's always fun to read a good book on a nice day. Hope you got to get outside, get some energy out, exercise a little bit, maybe even do some eye ready. A lot of neat things going on at Hoover Elementary. I heard from many parents and students that they love the family coding night last week and they love the family space night. I think that's great. Keep up the good work. We'll have to see if any of our Hoover Hawks become computer scientists or astronauts walking on Mars. That would really be something. A couple of reminders. Uh, first of all, I think you saw in the beginning there, we've got some outstanding second grade students who are doing a great job with their soccer skills, practicing in the uh, gym with Miss Wells. That looked like a lot of fun. We also wanna be really mindful, everybody, um, especially when we're on the bus. When we're on the bus, we need to be excellent Hoover Hawks. We need to be respectful, responsible, and safe. We're getting too many reports of some students who are not sitting on their bottoms, who are facing the wrong direction, who are maybe playing with phones, cell phones, computers, or other things. That shouldn't be happening, okay? We, if you do anything that distracts the bus driver, that could be a problem. The driver could get into an accident. People could get hurt. You could get hurt. We don't want that to happen. So please, please, please be respectful, be responsible, be safe on the bus, sit on your bottom, in your seat. Don't try and lean across. And you don't have to shout or scream. You could kind of be in a level one voice. All right. And if you have problems on the bus, you should tell your bus driver, you should tell your parents, you should tell your teacher, you should tell Mr. Kelly, you should tell me. We can't help you if we don't know that there's a problem. Okay, so please let us know if there's a problem so that we can help you so that we can make things better. I had a chance to ride one of the buses on Friday. It was awesome. Many students knew exactly what to do. And I was able to give out a whole bunch of white tickets. Almost, almost everybody on the bus, I think, earned a white ticket. So remember, your bus driver can give you a white ticket, can give you a golden ticket. Your bus driver could also give you a discipline referral. And if you get a discipline referral, you could end up losing some recess time, or you could even end up possibly not being able to ride the bus for a couple of days. So we don't want that to happen. So make good choices if you are a safety or if you're not a safety, either way, be a good role model, all right? Everybody should be able to look at you and say, oh, I see how we do it. Okay, you sit on your bottom, you talk in a one level one voice, keep your hands to yourself, and usually in 15, 20 minutes, most of you are home. So this shouldn't be like a crazy time, okay? All right, we've also got a lot of folks who love math and they keep saying, Dr. G, give us more math, give us more math. So yes, we do have iReady Math and you can do that as much as you want. But we also have these math challenges and we've got some students who are doing the math challenges. Uh, I shared some of them uh, on Facebook and in the newsletter. So you might want to take a look at those. All right. Also, if you're a child and you've got a lovely cuddly pet, please remember that all pets need to stay at home. Uh, you can't bring any pets to school. Parents shouldn't be bringing dogs or cats to the morning arrival or the afternoon dismissal because we do have some students who are allergic. We have some students who maybe uh, in the past might have been bitten by a dog or bitten by a cat or scratched or something. So you know, it's a good idea to just keep them home. Plus it's board policy. So if you are a student and you've got a wonderful animal at home, I'm thrilled. I'm glad, but let's make sure that the animal stays at home. All right. Have a great day, everybody. And don't forget Thursday is veterans day. 
We honor our veterans. If you know anybody who is in the service or is in the service now, thank them for their service. But we have no school on Thursday. So please make sure you remember that. And hopefully by now, everybody remembered to change their clocks because on Saturday, we were supposed to change our clocks. So hopefully we're all in the same time zone. Have a great day.